Hi Lexoids, I'm Alexandria Long and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of 2022. I'm so excited you guys because I have so many videos planned but yeah I'm sorry I'm uploading this a little bit later. I plan on uploading in the first week of the year but your girl has been enjoying her break and just chilling and working trying to build up the bag but yeah I'm really excited because we're doing our first hygiene shopping video of the year. I plan on doing a lot of the videos a lot of the videos a lot of these videos this year because hygiene videos are kind of really what blew up my channel last year and i'm really excited to make a lot more of them so my first stop is going to be target which is right there and we're also going to be going to bath and body works because your girl has a coupon hold on let me show you they sent me this coupon in the mail why am i covering it oh my oh anyway they sent me this coupon in the mail oh my oh my god they sent me this coupon in the mail the other day literally yesterday and it has a new scent on there for valentine's day it's supposed to be gingham love they always do variations of gingham. I don't know why that scent, they always do variations of it, but it just looks like this. It looks like regular gingham, but it's supposed to be red. So I wanna see if they have that in the store. But also, you know, the semi-annual sale is still going on, but the coupons I got, I got a free wallflower refill, which are these little things right here, if you don't know what they look like. Then they also have a 20% off coupon in there for me, like my entire purchase. So yeah, about to have a good time. I want to go ahead and film this because I feel a little cute right now. Look at hair is giving face is giving lip gloss is popping you already know but anyway let's get right into this video target here we come let's get it stepping out with the purple crocs you already know Beep. on another note someone needs to explain to me why it's literally almost 80 degrees outside when yesterday we were in the 30s it makes no sense literally everyone has on a long sleeve including me because i thought it was going to be cold today but it's literally burning up outside but anyway let's get in the store here we go guys All right, you guys so right when i walked in the store i passed the clearance section and i wasn't feeling the whole section but i saw these two things that stuck out to me they had these lip smackers and they're flavored as sprite and coke but then they also had this set of feel sheer hydration body lotion but neither of them have prices on them so we're gonna see how much they are and depending on how much they are we might pick them up all right you guys we are finally here so diving right in the first thing i have to go ahead and just grab already is this dove sensitive skin gigantic bottle i have one of these in my shower right now and i literally just finished using it i used to buy these right here but this i like the having the pump because it's so easy to have in the shower because you just get your little loofah pump it on there and it's a really good time and it's 819 i know it's kind of pricey but i promise you this bottle lasts for literally like three months or at least for me it does and i use this in literally every single one of my showers it doesn't matter what scent i'm using i always use my dove because that's my oh that's my baby that's my holy grail but besides the dove sensitive skin we also have the other doves down here like i said this one the dove sensitive skin will forever be my personal favorite but we also have the gentle exfoliating one we have the refreshing cucumber and green tea one i have that at home i have this antibacterial one i've been wanting to try the soothing care one because i want to see how it works i want to actually i don't even know how it smells let me smell it real quick I don't know it kind of smells like what is that one hair sticking up what is that that's annoying that's what that is anyway it kind of smells like I don't even know I can't really describe it um if you ever had like a little baby like a baby doll that's kind of what it smells like to me I, I, I know that sounds weird but like you know the little play baby dolls I don't know if you if if you get it you get it if you don't i really don't know what to tell you because that's the only way i can describe it but yeah it doesn't smell bad it smells interesting probably because it has calendula infused oils but it smells good i don't know if i'll get it today but it smells good anyways you guys continuing on with the dove section because as you can tell there's a lot to look at we also have this aloe and birch water refreshing scent another one i've been wanting to try i also been wanting to try the relaxing lavender scent but people said it's not really that strong once you get it in the shower but something else i've been wanting to try is also this renewing peony and rose oil it smells really light and fresh i just don't know what i would pair it with i try i've been trying to stop buying stuff if i can't figure out what i can pair with that i already have in my hygiene collection but going on up they have the same versions of the dove body washes you just saw but they have them in these little pump bottles we have the set we also have these giant bottles of the restoring coconut and cocoa butters i've actually never had this in right here but i have had this one the pampering dove and this is so such a good body wash i literally am just now finishing it and i have it in the bottle that's like oh, this size right here but yeah i really like that um then we also have the dove deep moisture i personally this is not my favorite dove i have it at home 
but i i personally wouldn't recommend it if you have like sensitive skin like me because it is kind of drying or if you do want to use it get something that can counteract it with the really moisturizing soap but moving on we have some bath salts by dove bubble bath i didn't even know they had this but we also have the body polishes i've been wanting to get the body polish for such a long time i normally get this one right here the crushed macadamia and rice milk this is my favorite dove body polish but i've been wanting to try this one right here because i've smelled this and this pomegranate and seasoned shea butter one smells so good so i don't know which one i'll get today but we definitely gotta get one because i need to have one in my shower like asap all right you guys so continuing down the aisle we see a lot of other brands such as olay we have some saint ives some Avino. so let's get right into it so first up we have this olay cleansing and nourishing body wash right here i wanted to take a chance on olay i think i've actually tried this body wash right here but i didn't really like it personally it just wasn't my cup of tea but a lot of people talk good about it but something else i've also been wanting to try is this body conditioner right here it's like a night you're supposed, to, you're supposed to use it at night and they have the different ones right here they also have body scrubs i've been wanting to try it and it's like six dollars so it's like should i get it or not but up here at the top we have saint ives another brand i've been wanting to try for a while but i've been like too scared to try it because a lot of people talk about saint ives like face scrubs and stuff but they say their body care like their lotions and body washes are really good so we have this one which is the pink lemon and mandarin orange we also have this one which is the oatmeal and shea butter we have this other one up here, which is the sea salt and Pacific kelp. But then we also have this one, which is the coconut water and orchid, and it's supposed to be hydrating for your skin. Well, they're also supposed to be hydrating for your skin. All right, you guys, so continuing on with the Olay body washes and Olay products. So we have this right here. This is the Olay Shea Moisture Body Wash. I have tried this body wash. I tried like a travel size version of this when I first started doing hygiene shopping videos, and it wasn't for me personally if you're trying to get something shea butter i would try to get not this one but try to get this dove anything dove shea butter is really good but anyways continuing on we also have the dove the dove oh my gosh the olay age defining vitamin e body wash in a regular like squirt then you have it in a pump then we have the olay ultra moisturizing coconut oil body wash in a squeeze what is this Olay Exfoliating Moisture Sea Salt. Interesting. Then we also have the Fresh Outlast. And we also have this Olay Ribbons um, Body Wash. I bought this a long time ago. Like literally five months ago. And I just finished it. Because it it's it's so good in the shower. And it only takes a little for it to like fizz up. And it's really exciting. But yeah. Definitely recommend that right there. Okay. We're going to be smelling some of the body washes. So first we're going to smell the Olay Fresh Outlast. Which is this one right here. Let's give it a whip. okay it's something like or anything this is the olay exfoliating moisture sea salt thumbnail picture Hold on. yeah it's right here it smells good it actually smells like a product they have in my shower already i just don't know which one but it says like something Oh, that one smells really good. This is the Olay Ultra Moisture Coconut. Oh my God, Ultra Moisture Coconut Oil one. Huh? It smells good. Hold on. Oh, it looks thick too. Hold on. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pick her up. Hold on. That smells really good. Anyways, guys, so continuing on down the aisle, we have a whole lot of Aveeno. I personally love Aveeno. It's just oh, so good for your skin. And if you have sensitive skin like me, you just need to reset sometimes or you just need to walk away from the fragrance and everything. Aveeno is the perfect brand. I literally have this body wash and the matching lotion in my shower, and I would recommend it to anyone. It's a little pricey, I know, but it does really work for your skin. Then moving on down, I'm going to try not to show y'all every single thing because it's pretty much the same thing we always see when we're at Target. But look at this cool loofah. I might have to get it just because I like the way it looks. It's 99 cents. It's really cute. But I don't know. We'll think about it. Anyways, continuing on down to all the bar soaps. They have literally every single bar soap you could think of for Dove. I've been wanting to try this right here. The pomegranate one. Like, if I get this body scrub right here, then I have to get the matching soap. I like to be matching with all my hygiene products. I have the shea butter bars at home. Really love those. I have this one at home. 
I love this. It has such a nice and clean scent to it. And they also have the Dove scents down here. If you're trying to get the classic like scent and bar soap for Dove, I would recommend getting it at Family Dollar though, just because they have a three pack, which is like, I think it's actually this price, like $3, but here at Target, you would pay $3 for two. So I recommend getting it at Family Dollar, but that's just me personally. And they also have this big pack right here, which is $8 and you pay, um, no, I'm sorry. It's $9 for eight. Yeah. But anyways, we have Caress. I used to use Caress a lot when I was younger because my mom used to use Caress, but then we switched to Dove because she used Dove. So, you know, obviously I started using what my mom used whenever I first got, you know, learn how to take a shower and stuff like that. But my sister, um, I went out of town, did a tour of a college the other day, like last week. And my sister, she had this Caress Daily Silk body wash. And I've never used Caress body wash, but let me tell y'all, it was really good. It made my skin feel really smooth and soft. And I've also been wanting to try the Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar body wash, but I haven't been able to find it anywhere. So we might have to go ahead and pick those up today, but I don't know yet. I don't know. They also have this brand right here called Love and Beauty. I've never really, and Myers. I never really heard a lot about either one of these brands, but they are a little bit on the pricier side. So I gotta see if I can do my research before I buy either one of those. But moving on down, they have the Method Body Washes. They literally only have five Method Body Washes left. They have the classic one, which smells really good. And they also have this cucumber one, which are both $7. But I was like, I have the tiny version of this in my shower. I've been wanting to buy the big version, but I don't know if I should get it today or not. We also have a lot of body washes by the brand Raw Sugar they have the avocado and cactus pear one they have the raw coconut and mango one the lemon sugar one the pineapple i think that's mcquay berry and coconut we have the white grapefruit plus rosemary and then the green tea cucumber aloe vera it's just a lot of interesting scents going on here and i'm curious all right, you guys, so continuing on down, we also have the Dove Kids line. We have the Raw Sugar Kids line and also the Hey Humans line, as y'all can tell, and just a lot of Dial or Dale. I still don't know how to pronounce it, but um, it's down there, but yeah. All right, you guys, so another brand I've been really wanting to try is the brand Native right here. They have a lot of body washes, as you can see. So for the scents, they have cucumber and mint, charcoal. We have lilac and white tea, coconut and vanilla, and then they also have it like a pump but they're really expensive, they're like $9. So we're gonna give them the smell and decide if we're gonna buy one today or not, but we'll see. All right, let's start smelling. Okay, so first we're gonna smell the cucumber and mint one. Screenshot, Alex. Anyway, okay, let's give it a sniff. Mm, okay, okay, she smells, she smells really nice. She smells nice, she smells expensive. So then we have the charcoal one right here. Good. Oh, okay. I really like that. Hold on. It's black. Hold on. It's literally black. Oh, God. It smells so good. Okay. 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 Then we have the lilac and white tea one. It's very faint. It smells good, though. It's very faint, though. Then we have the coconut and vanilla. Smells really good. Interesting. A lot of new finds today. I would have to do more research on it to see if I would actually buy it though, because it is kind of expensive. So I gotta do a little bit more research on that before I purchase that. But anyways, yeah, I think we are all done in Target for the day, but I have a story to tell y'all when we get in the car. So I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, you guys, so I was getting ready to leave, but then I found all these soft soaps and I'm just so interested to look at them. So first up, they had this scent right here, which is fresh citrus. Why can't I say it? fresh citrus? Oh my gosh. They have the white tea and berry. We have some hand sanitizers here. Then they also have the warm vanilla and coconut milk. When I tell y'all the berry one and this one smells so good, I cannot I cannot not get them. But they also have these soaps right here, which are the antibacterial soft soaps. They just smell like basic soap to me. But yeah, then they also have some more hand sanitizer. But yeah, now we're really actually gonna go because I gotta get a move on. All right, you guys, the Target bags are secured. Bye bye, Target. See you later. All right, you guys, so I just got back in the car. I can take my AirPods out now since I'm in the car by myself. But I've gotta turn this air on, y'all. It's hot. Okay, so basically, let me tell you guys what happened. I'm gonna turn it off because it's actually loud. So first, whenever I was in Target and I was in the hygiene section, oh my God, I can't speak. Let me just calm down, okay. 
So whenever I was in Target and I was in the hygiene section with the, the body wash and all that stuff, a guy came up to me in the store and he was like, excuse me. And I thought he was going to ask me a question about like the body wash or something. And he was like, um, have you ever... Uh, have you ever modeled or something like that? And you know, automatically my red flag went up because I was like, um, no. And he was like, would you like a free photo shoot? And I was like, um, I said, are you a photographer? And he was like, yeah, I'm a photographer. You know, still red flag is still up. But then he showed me his Instagram page and he actually is a real photographer and he has almost 19,000 followers. He was like, yeah, I didn't mean, I didn't want to creep you out or anything, but like I was standing on the, he was standing on the opposite aisle that was on the other side of the aisle I was on and he could hear me talking. And he was like, you have a really nice personality. And he said, I thought you were talking to yourself at first. And I was like, oh no, I just have a YouTube channel and I'm like talking to them, but you know, it looks like I'm talking to myself. Um, but yeah, he show me the Instagram stuff. He's like, if you want a free photo shoot, you know, let me know. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, that's cool. But then I'm going to give you guys a haul at the end of the video, like after we go to Bath and Body Works. But whenever I was in there, I was checking out and um, one of the items I showed you guys, or I should have the clip in there, was for this Cetaphil lotion, right? And it, the lotion, when I rung it up, it was supposed to be on clearance, but it was still ended up being like six, almost seven dollars. And I was like, oh no, I'm gonna put that back. So like, you know, when you delete something at Target, the attendant has to come over. Well, not the attendant, but the person who works that has to come over there. I don't know what they're called. The customer service, not customer service. The employee has to come over there and they have to like, you know, uh, put in their little code so you can delete the item and stuff. So the guy who, whenever I was checking out, he was like, oh, well, would you like it? Would you buy this if I give it to you 50% off? And I was like, cause first he was like 30% and then he kept going up to 50%. I was like, oh, you're trying to get rid of it? And he was like, well, yeah, when whenever people try to like, um, delete stuff off of here we try to just give it to them at a discounted price so that way they'll still buy it and i was like oh yeah 50 percent i'll take it so i think i ended up spending about 28 dollars in target which is not bad at all and it wasn't even for the amount of stuff i got it was because like that dove body wash was pretty expensive um and i'm not gonna say everything else because i don't want to spoil it for y'all but we're about to go to bath and body yeah bath and body works right now i lost my train of thought for a second but let's get to it all right you guys so right when i walked into bath and body works you could automatically see the whole christmas line was 75 percent off i told y'all this was gonna happen so they had this enjoy which was the snickerdoodle scent they had the love scent which is cotton candy champagne then they also had this scent hope which was the peach scent and they all smell really good but going on to the other side of the table they had a bunch like when i tell you y'all see how many of those shower gels they had for frosted coconut snowball it was really crazy but then they also had twisted peppermint they had it in the lotion and they also had it in the shapeable soap which i had never seen before and i thought it was pretty cool but yeah all that was also 75 percent off all right you guys next up i moved on to another table where everything was 75 percent off as you could tell they were really trying to get rid of this scent right here which was summertime surf i personally didn't rock with it but they also had a bunch of ocean body creams and then on the other side we just had more holiday stuff they have vanilla bean noel and the lotion shower gel cucumber melon and something i was excited to see they had snowflakes and cashmere in the mist because i had been wanting to get that but i wasn't going to pay full price for it but they also had pumpkin latte more cucumber melon and then some sprays and mist as you probably guessed, I moved on to another table where everything was 75% off. This is my favorite table in the store. So they had Dark Kiss at the top. They also had Vanilla Be Noel in the shower gel and the lotion. They had Ocean. They had Secret Wonderland. They had a bunch of Vanilla Be Noel like shower gels. They had Happy Vibes in the shower gel, which I was really excited about. But my favorite thing was these oils at the top. It's really rare in the semi-annual sale to see body oils, but they had the aromatherapy eucalyptus body oil and also the tea tree and peppermint one. Next up, the other side of the table is pretty similar to the very first 75% off stand we saw, but both of these loves are two different colors, which is kind of weird to me. All right, you guys, the Bath & Body Works bag is secured. Yes! all right you guys so i just got back into the car let me tell you the girl who was working the checkout who checked me out in bath and body work she was so sweet we were just sitting there talking for like 10 minutes like we were best friends she was really nice but i'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys the haul now because you know that's what i do but anyway so here are the target bags i spent i think in bath and body works i spent around 29 dollars, which is not bad at all well it's a little bad but i have been budgeting i budgeted out of my check to do hygiene shopping so it's fine because i wanted to do a video for y'all because i haven't done hygiene shopping in a minute and i just organized my bathroom and everything so it's pretty nice but anyway let me take my thumbnail real quick oh my god
Okay, I think that's enough. All right, so without further ado, let's just dive right into this haul, you guys. So I'm gonna start off with what I got. Let's start with what I got from Bath and Body Works. So here, here's the receipt. Um, let me tell y'all. So before, so let me tell y'all. So the total discount today was $110 because everything I got was either $4 or less. And so before, I had a 20% off coupon. So my total ended up being $29.73 today. So let's just dive right into it. So first up, I got this Aromatherapy Essential Oils Body Oil. I thought it would be really nice for my mom's and I got one for myself too because my mom does get stressed a lot and I feel like this stress relief oil would really work for her. And I feel like she would like this scent because she likes eucalyptus and scents like that. The next thing I picked up was this Peppermint Shapeable Soap. I thought it was really cool because this is part of the holiday collection, but they don't have a lot of times other stuff besides shower gels and lotions on the 75% off table so I went ahead and picked it up and I'm just I'm really excited to use it I'm probably gonna use this today oh, I cut myself I'm probably gonna use it I didn't cut myself that just hurt I'm probably gonna use this today in the shower next up I picked up some mist so we got white peach marshmallow I have this in the lotion at home the scent top tier I also got snowflakes and cashmere in the mist I've been wanting to get this I've been waiting for it to go on sale y'all can't even see it I've been wanting to get it, waiting for it to go on sale. The next thing I got was Love, which is the cotton candy champagne scent. I've been wanting to get this scent in the mist, waiting for it to go on sale. I'm telling you, I told y'all when I went to that sale the first day, I was not buying anything unless it was 75% off, and I'm still sticking to that same motto. But anyways, the next thing I picked up was Sunset Glow in the lotion. When I tell y'all, I've been hunting for this in a lotion for a long time. I got this in the mist in the last semi-annual sale, which is last year in July. Like, I've... I've been needing this for a while, okay? But we finally got it. Finally got it. Anyway, next thing I picked up was Happy Vibes in the little shower gel. And the last thing I picked up was this right here. This is another body oil mist. It's the Tea Tree Plus Peppermint Aromatherapy like body oil mist. I didn't get one of these from my mom just because she doesn't really use body oil. Like I said, I just thought the eucalyptus one would be good for her because it's stress relief. But if she wants to use it, she's welcome to use it, obviously, because she's my mom and I'm not going to not let her use my stuff because I, I use her stuff all the time so it's no big deal to me so if she wants to use it she can but I didn't want to buy her one so I was like mm, what if she doesn't like it and she doesn't really like when I buy her stuff all the time but I like buying my mommy stuff because it's fun but yeah anyway now let's move on to what I picked up from Target let me put my receipt back in the bag okay put that back in the bag okay next up what I got from Target so first thing I picked up was this right here I already told you guys about this this is Cetaphil lotion. I used to use Cetaphil a lot when I was younger because I have, it's not that sensitive anymore, but my skin still is sensitive. So certain products I just can't use on my skin. Like a lot of times when I use Bath and Body Works products, since I have a lot of them and I try to finish them, I have to take a couple of days where I just use like my Dove, my Cetaphil, my Aveeno, just to like reset my body and get my skin back in check because I do have eczema as well. But I was wanting to try this and this lotion was like $7 and I was asking the, guy who worked there I was like hey can you take this off it's a little bit too expensive for me and he was like no I'll give it to you 50% off if you buy it and I was like bet and he put in a little code gave it 50% off and we kept it moving and we got it anyway moving on to the second bag you guys so y'all already know I was not walking out of the store without my dove okay Alex has been needing a new dove I had this in my shower literally right now and I was wanting to get a new one because she was running down but when i tell y'all this lasts for a really long time she was a little bit expensive because this bottle is like nine dollars basically almost nine dollars but when i tell y'all this is literally the best body wash ever like i love other body washes i love shower gels but nothing can ever be touched by dove i'm sorry like dove sensitive skin will forever be my holy grail and also the bar soap as well but next up i picked up this dove body polish i have I remember when I first started using this Dove body polish, I was going through like three of them a month because I really I like it that much. And I haven't had one in my shower. I've been wanting to use it because the one I had, I just recently finished using it. And I was like, oh baby, we gotta get one because I need one in my shower. Yes, I do. Next up, I got some little cotton pads just you know, to do my toner and stuff on my face because I have a toner, but I haven't been doing it because I didn't have these, but I got some of those. Next thing I picked up was this soft soap in the scent white tea and berry. I showed you guys this in Target. It smells really good. So I wanted to get one. And this was about $2. I didn't know this was almost $3 when I bought it. I thought it was like $1.99 like the other one. But it's fine because I still bought it anyway. Because I really like this warm vanilla and coconut milk scent. This is also soft soap. And then the last thing I picked up was just a pack of Kleenexes. This was a dollar. Just because, you know, COVID is getting pretty bad out here. And like, you can hear me like <clears throat> sniffling. I personally do not have 
uh, COVID, I'm not sick or anything, but like when the weather keeps changing like this, my allergies do react. So I take medicine like Claritin and stuff for my allergies. But yeah, the weather is getting pretty crazy out here. But yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really excited to see what 2022 brings. So far, the year has started off great for me. And I'm just really excited. I have a lot of things planned I want to do this year. A lot of things, I, a lot of new skills I want to learn. I have, I just have a lot I want to do this year. And I set my goals for this year. And I'm just really excited about 2022 Alex. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for 460 subscribers because we hit that today. But anyway, we hit 460 subscribers today. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for coming back and rocking with me again. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I love you guys so much and thanks for watching. Bye, Lake Swords.